I will say it, I will always say this here, your prayer life is so important. Your prayer life is so important. I want you to just ask yourself, why are you not praying? Why are you not getting deeper with God? And why is that? Because you're lazy, 100%. God wants to show you mysteries, plans, revelations, all these things he can show you, but it's on the secret place. You want God to show you your destiny. You want God to, to give you signs and wonders that you're asking for. He says, call to me, I will answer you. I will show you my things which you do not know. But again, he says that he who dwells under the secret place shall abide under the shadow of my team. If you're not done with him, you will not abide with him. But the Lord, he says it in his word, Psalms 1 verse 1. He says in the Bible again, men ought to pray. Men ought, you have to pray. Prayer is not about how you feel. Prayer can, can open a different dimension to, to, to something new in your life. Prayer can, can, can give you the footprint of where God is trying to take you to be. To understand God's voice, to go deeper with the Lord. You know, if you can speak in the spirit, speak in the spirit. You know, God wants to show you something, but now it takes you up to you now. Because, you know, God, God gets free will. God will never force you to love him. God will never force you to pray. But if you go out your way, humble yourself and go and pray. People ask, well, how do, I, how do I close to God? Discipline. How do I see God? Discipline. How, do, how can God show me discipline? But I don't feel like praying. See, I don't feel has lost you. I don't feel. Imagine God saying, I don't feel like dying on the cross. I don't feel like dying. I don't feel like it. I don't feel. I don't feel. That feel word. Obviously, again, probably she was trying that. Trust the Lord with all your heart. Lean on your own understanding. Your feeling could be, your, your, what you feel can be, can you lead to your understanding? But it says, Verse 6, Proverbs chapter 6, that all your ways acknowledge the Lord will heal your path. If you don't acknowledge God, He can't direct you. Instead of, instead of all these physical blessings, look for the spiritual blessing. The fruit of the Spirit. The fruit of the Spirit, man. Peace, joy, patience, long suffering, perseverance, all these stuff. It comes in when you give God your time. I'm not going to say it's easy, which is not. But for me, though, I can, I'm glad to say by the grace of God. I don't, I don't, I don't play with prayer. I don't play with, I don't play with prayer. It, it's got to the point now. If, if I don't pray, I don't feel right. Like I know I need to pray, I need to pray, I need to pray. I need, I need to. I don't feel right, and that's where I, I pray. Guys, get to the point is that if you don't pray, if you don't read the Bible, you're gonna, you're gonna feel it. You're gonna feel like, wow, what's wrong with me? You're gonna feel it. Conviction is good. I think conviction is a good thing. It's a good thing. When you're not praying, you're not read the Bible, God's convicted. You say, come to me, so I want to come to me, dark or something. I want to show you something. When you have that heavy, heavy feeling. And you and, 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 and have your talk, I feel like I read a Bible. Go and read your Bible. Go and pray. God wants to stay. But sometimes some of you, 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 you have that feeling. You, you grieve it. You, you, you ignore it. You're basically you're ignoring the Holy Spirit. You're grieving it. So that voice will get lower and lower and lower and lower, lower. Obey. I've learned in this walk season, I mean, obey. Obey in most ways. You obey. Obey. I mean, Jeremiah. I mean, Ezekiel, what do I just see the most important thing? Obey, 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 obey. Ask, listen, if God tends to go there, do it. Don't if, but straight, do it. You know, don't come to God just for, for the hand. God, give me, give me, give me. Does God know you? Go and seek him. Go and go, on, go and on, cry desperately. Go weep, go well, go, go broken to the Lord. Says, the Lord's close to those who are broken and crushed in spirit. He's close to those who are crushed and he's close. To, to those who are broken and crushed in spirit. Are you close to God though? Are you spending time with God? You gotta ask yourself that. You gotta ask yourself that. Why are you not taking the Lord's You can't take out your phone, your all this stuff. What about Jesus Christ? What about the Lord? What about the Lord? It's not about followers. It's not about cloud. What are you doing for God? God has called you for something. And if you don't do it, it's in your hands. But again, Bible says many are called, but few are chosen. You, while you are called, don't be the one that that when God has given you something, you don't you don't take, you take it for granted. Don't play with God. I want people to notice again that God is our loving, amazing Father. But please don't don't play with don't play with God though. You know God is a friend. God is a, God is a friend. He hears, understands. But even myself, I must I must I must honor that. Guy. I must have I must fear him. Have a have a have a honor for that Lord because for God because hey, he's not a joker. Don't, don't play with God, man. Don't 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 play with God, man. Don't play with your spiritual life. Don't play with your spiritual life, man. So some of us so focused on cloud, da, 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 all this stuff, but temporary. I says, what does the prophet find the gain the whole world religion? So what do we profit in a day? And I've been in that point. It's got to the point now, guys, without God, who am I? Who am I? Who am I? Do you only pray when, it, when, when people say you fast? 
Do you do you only pray to God when you ask for something, or do you pray because without God, you are, you are nothing. You are nothing without God. I don't care. How I look. I don't. I'm not here to please someone. I'm here to please God. I'm here to please God. I'm here to please God. So listen, and I know a lot. So someone asked me before, what church should I go to? Um, what church I go to is where I have his believers church, which is based in, which is based in Dublin. If 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 you want to go to my church, I want to see, you know, DM me, hundred percent. So listen, I'm going to say to you, please take the Lord seriously. Don't play with the Lord. Take him. He wants a relationship with you, but you must, you must make a decision. Are you not tired? Are you not tired of, of lust? Are you not tired of all these stuff? Are you not tired? So you're not, go, go, come to the Lord and he will need your strength. He will need your strength. May God bless you. May God elevate you. And I pray in Jesus' name, we all take the Lord seriously. Even myself, this is also for me. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you guys. Love.